game by both sides. Well, I know one thing: you got to score more than zero to win. Um, yeah, you got to got to bear down a little bit more on the net. Uh, obviously, you know when you get to, they're they're not. I think both teams are pretty disciplined teams. There wasn't going to be a lot of penalties, and you got to capitalize certainly for us too on some power play opportunities. I thought our first one was good, but uh, I thought Shep played a great game for us, gave us a chance to win, and we didn't give him uh, the support he needed. How strong was that penalty kill in the third period there? Oh, well, I did what they needed to do. You know, I mean, uh, obviously we took a, a bench minor, which I was disappointed in, and uh, you know what? And then we had, a, again, opportunity, and we kind of squandered it with uh, the first half of the power play not being very good. And you can't, you can't squander those opportunities, not against, the, not against teams like this. What, were, what was Denver doing, or maybe what did you guys not do to, to not get the bodies to the net? Carson said that was something he thought you guys could have done a better job of getting bodies Because we spent too much that. time in our D zone. Mm -hmm. It's pretty simple. We get pucks out fast enough, clean enough. We spend too much time, and then when you get down there, you don't have the energy to do it. And we had some lines that did it. I thought uh, a couple lines had some good shifts where they, they worked it down low and got to get better body position. You got to have a, de a determination to get there. You know what? You got you to win battles against these, against any team, let alone this team. But you got to win battles. You got to fight for, for positioning around the net. And when you get around the net and pucks there, you got to bear down. Was Carson's line one of those you felt? The guys, there was moments. Carson's there was moments line. where certain lines did some things, but again, you know what? It wasn't. It wasn't enough. And you know, when we did get pucks to the net, we didn't have anybody there. You know, so it's a, it's a determination to get there and fight for position and, and make sure you're in the in and around the net. And we didn't do a very good job of that. You're not going to win many games playing on the perimeter. Parker, take me through that uh, PK you guys had there late in the third from the too many man penalty. I think you guys got trapped out there for about a minute 47. You blocked uh, um, three shots. <laughs> I don't know how you're feeling after that, but kind of just take me through that whole sequence there. I thought it was really kind of a, a moment you guys were. You know, I thought it was going to be a turning point for you guys in this game. Yeah, um, obviously it was a it was a big penalty kill for us. Um, we kind of they did a good job of keeping pucks alive and uh, getting getting their rebounds. So, I mean, we're just trying to get pucks out and. Fortunate enough to be able to battle and ship making a big save there at the end to cover it up. Well, where were you finding the energy to, to keep laying out and blocking shots on that? I think how just much, how much energy. I think just now? yeah. I, I think just knowing that it was an important penalty kill, an important part of the game. We needed we needed it, and I think just just wanting to win and uh, get that kill to continue to help push to get a goal there. How much did that fire you guys up uh, for the end there? It looked like on the next penalty yeah. kill, you guys controlled things really well. It's kind of shocked to see you back out there PK and again, but uh, how much did that fire you guys up at the end? Yeah, it always it always gives you motivation when when guys are patting you on the back on the bench or giving you energy. Um, I think that was the most important thing. It gives you a second adrenaline rush there. So, Parker, what did you feel you guys need to do to, to beat Gillette tonight and, and, and get at least that one goal to tie this thing up? I think getting more bodies to the net is uh, is important. I mean, we'll we'll go through it with video and stuff like that tomorrow. But I think getting pucks and bodies to the net and maintaining puck pressure down low is going to be key. Coach just mentioned we thought you guys spent way too much time in, in, in your own zone, and, and that left you guys tired going into the offensive zone. What do you need to do against this Denver team to maybe break that puck out better and you know get control and you know you guys be the team sitting in the offensive zone controlling the puck? Yeah, I think it's important to close off early, um, not giving their top players too much time to to spin back or make plays, being able to close and, and jump on pucks when they're being cycled, I think is important. Cars, a real hard fought, one nothing game out there tonight. But you guys didn't come up on the right side. It's like, oh, what do you take out of, out of this first night against Denver? What do you take out of this game? Yeah, just like any game, I think, uh, obviously there's no no moral victories. I think that's a game that, um, as a group, we, we think that we can win and we'd like to win, obviously. And um, just like anything else, we can take some positives and, and negatives. and. And, uh, and put it into tomorrow's game. Offensively, do you feel you guys did what you needed to do to at least create the chances? I know you had a couple of really good chances out there that you let stop. Yeah, we had a couple of good looks, but I think um, I think where we where we've been able to score goals this season is getting bodies in net, and um, that's something that we can definitely do more. I think uh, getting he's a, he's a good goalie. Obviously, he um, stopped me on two there, um, but I think just getting second, third opportunities at the net is is what we got to focus on tomorrow. Did you feel you guys weren't getting enough bodies to the net, or, or were they doing something that kept you from the front yeah, net? There? Yeah, I give them credit. They got they, they have smart players. They got um, um, up and down their lineup. They got uh, guys that can all play, and um, and they do a good job of boxing out. But at the same time, that's just a will. That's just guys um, wanting to get to the net more and and uh, wanting to be in battles there. 
What did you see on the two chances you created there, the, the, the steals and then um, the opportunities? Yeah, they're just quick, quick transition. I think um, I think we actually caught him a few times there, um, but um, um, Gillette was able to to see him and stop him. Um, obviously, I think Parks hit a hit a crossbar on the power play there. Um, that would have been a nice one to give for our power play too. So, so overall, we had looks, but um, more bodies than that is how how you, how you score in this league. How much did specifically you had two big kills there in, in the third? Uh, that one where you guys were trapped out there for almost the entire time, Parker three blocks. Y there. Yeah. How much did that kind of fire you guys yeah. going into the end yeah, of the Yeah, that's there? huge. Obviously, um, you don't want to take penalties late like that, but but it happens. And uh, and uh, hats off to those two. I think it was Jared and Parks and, and the two D men out there. Uh, um, that just comes down to wanting to block shots, wanting to get the kill, and um, that, that gave the bench a lot of life going into the last uh, six seven minutes there.